Okay, so let's move on to the other world where you know some huge changes taking place right. in, in terms of uh, scientific discovery, medicine. Right. Where's this leading to? Stem, stem cell replacement therapy, stuff like this is you know incredibly exciting. Well, we have to do this. That's the first thing you have to understand is if we don't fix the old age dependency ratio, we're hosed. Yeah. I mean, this is, we, this is not optional. We're going to run out of money. We're going to see the kind of haircuts and, and dis destruction of jobs and savings that we've seen in Greece. And that's probably the best case scenario. I don't think the Western world will let that happen. For one reason is that the baby boomers are the most privileged, entitled, and arrogant generation in history. They've just dominated the demographics since they were born, and they've always got their way. And, they're, and nobody's going to tell them not. So we're, we're at a point right now where I think there's a tipping point in terms of public understanding that, that w there's something fundamentally wrong with our, our medical regulatory system. And that is, so the, the attitude among regulators is, uh, come to us when you've got a full-blown disease and we'll see what we can do to mitigate the symptoms, not cure it. Nobody uses the word cure. On the other hand, what gerontologists are saying is, you know, this is common sense. Is it cheaper to get your car serviced on a regular basis to prevent a catastrophic breakdown? Or do you just wait for it to fall apart and then try to r repair it? It's the same thing in medicine. We know that we can prevent the disease state, or at least put it off. Actually, I think we can prevent it, but that's very radical medicine. I don't know if you want to go there, but um, the, the evidence is at this point that we can, in fact, reverse aging, and this is, comes out of two important groups. One is the, uh, the, the biotech company, uh, Biotime, but also the Scripps Institute. So, I mean, this is multiple confirmation that we can restore you. And what are the key methods they're doing this by? Well, it's all about activating genes, either shutting them down or turning them on to replicate that condition uh, that existed in uh, that exists in embryos, which is complete healing power. Once the embryo becomes a fetus, then it's technically an adult. So when you hear about adult stem cells, they could come from a nine-week-old fetus. Right. So, uh, but those cells don't repair completely. They adapt to the injury. They scar. Prior to that point, they repair. They regenerate. And so that's what we're seeing is the reactivate. That's what now the most important work is doing, is trying to do, is to reactivate, probably with small molecule drugs, so there may be some sort of genetic engineering included in this, those, that gene state that, uh, that, that allows regeneration as opposed to scarring. 